Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Oh, I'm so excited about what I'm gonna show you this week. I was debating between two things and this one out because I haven't done any sewing for a little while. And when I say sewing, do not let that scare you. This, I do not sew number one. Um, I don't even know how to thread a machine or anything like that. We are actually going to be using just a needle and embroidery thread. And I'm going to show you now what we're going to be making. So this is um, my Courageous Adventures journal that was inspired by the Get Messy community. And I want to show you some of the fun things that I stitched to put in this journal. And then I'm going to show you how to do today. So these little fabric tabs are what I'm talking about. Guys, these are so cute in journals. They just add a touch of whimsy and they just add, I think, so much. And I love stitching because it is very, um, I did this here. This is fabric and then this was um, a word I stitched on there with um, an old doily and ribbon. Um, it's so therapeutic and relaxing for me to stitch. There's another little tag. And you can see that my stitches are not even. They're not meant to be. Um, it's meant to be very mixed media looking. Very um, messy. It's another one. I think I have a few. Oh, that's well, just a ribbon. I think I have ah, got this one. Yes, I love this one. I'm not sure if there's any more. Let's check real quick. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, there is one more. I love this one with all the embroidery thread just kind of jumbled up on there. We're going to make that today, one of those today. Oh, and this one. I love this one. Okay, so that's what we're going to make. I call them mixed media stitched fabric tags. Let's go through what we need. So you need scraps of fabric and there are very there's a lot of places if you're like me i didn't have fabric because i don't use fabric ever like i had not before i had done this and so i went to my mom who has a ton of fabric and she actually had some quilting squares that she had started and never finished and isn't going to be able to finish and so I am so grateful that I can use these beautiful squares in my journals because I feel like it's a, a piece of her so she gave me several things and I keep them here in this little baggie they're just little little scraps and then um I have some scraps that a family friend had given me I actually have a whole big bag I just kind of wanted to show you some different patterns that I have. I am not picky about the pattern. I just think it's so fun to have lots of random patterns. Okay, so you need fabric scraps. Um, the other thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need a few more things and then some fun little embellishment ideas if you wanna get a little bit crazy with this. But this is ribbon and rickrack. So let me show you. Um, my mom had gone to an auction, oh gosh, several years ago, and that's when I was really into ribbon and things. I was using it for something, and then I kind of got out of it, and so I forgot I had this box. I have a huge, like, Amazon box full of bias tape and rickrack, and um, guys, I've got enough to, like, literally, well, I never will have to buy it ever, ever. <laughs> And so this stuff looks so cute on tags. Um, so cute. Other things I have, um, I have this really beautiful kind of, um, I don't know, maybe a tulle kind of fabric with the stars on it. I haven't used this yet, I don't think, on a tag, but I think it's going to be so cute. This is the old Elsie Flanagan ribbon from the scrapbooking days so it's bold and bright i used to have an online scrapbook store so i had some of this left over so any kind of ribbon will do this is so fun i um this is actually what inspired me to start making these fabric mixed media tags 
I was looking for some little kits for my granddaughter, some little art kits at Walmart. And I saw this really fun neon chenille pom-pom looking um, trim. And I'm like, this that would be so cute in my journals. And I didn't know what I was gonna do with it at the time. Um, but when I discovered that I did not have to be nice and neat when I sewed, I could just be messy, my messy self. That's when I knew what I wanted to do with it. This is like a little, I don't know, it looks like, like a little trim maybe that was on a, I don't know what this would have been on, but anyway, I thought that's so cute. That will go on a tag. And then here's a ribbon. Um, some other fun things you can use on these tags. These are felt shapes. These are actually from Fancy Pants. If you guys were ever into scrapbooking, this is um, the old Fancy Pants stuff. That was my favorite scrapbooking company, one of them. And I love Chatterbox too. But anyway, I have so many of these left over and I didn't know what I was going to do with them. In fact, I had them to give away or to sell. I think I actually tried to sell these at a yard sale once, a whole bag of them. I have a whole bag of them and nobody wanted them. And so I'm so glad I didn't sell them now because they look so cute. And this is actually a tag here that I just created right before I decided to film this tonight. And I used the little trim. And as you can see, again, guys, the stitching is very uneven and it's meant to be that way, right? So this is just a fun little tag that I can put in my journal. And in fact, let me show you before we even get started here of making these. Let me show you how cute this is going to be. So I went and got one of my journals and um, my stapler. This is how I'm going to put it in my journal. And I'm just going to kind of flip through and show you how I would decide to put this in. Can you guys see that? I kind of need to move that a little bit. So just, I kind of just intuitively do it um, on my page. I like that right there so I'm going to use this as a little tab and I'm going to just staple that yeah, I love that okay I added one more that makes it a little more stable love that okay so that is what we're going to do guys so here's what you're going to need a pin cushion is very helpful a needle and then I like to take my scraps um, I usually try to do a few of these at a time and I just cut them in various sizes okay so I've got some long skinny ones some littler ones and kind of a square then I gather my ribbon and put them on there and then I've decided that this heart's gonna be so cute on there I also have one that I was getting ready to do when I decided to film. And it's just a really cute piece of floral. And then, oh, can you hear the little girls are outside? My neighbor girls are outside playing. I love hearing that. It reminds me of my little granddaughter. And then here's the that fun neon color. Pom-pom rick rack. So anyway, I think we'll start on this. So this one... It's going to be just kind of a simpler one. Actually, I think what I'm going to do on this one is we're going to add the rickrack. And then I'm going to show you one of my favorite things to do, which is to add a big bunch of um, embroidery thread. Oh, the other thing you're going to need, friends, is embroidery thread. Okay? You can literally get this big bag of embroidery thread with all kinds of colors in it. Jewel tones, pastels, 
like the darker browns and black and white and cream and all kinds of colors. And I think I paid like, oh my goodness, like $5 for this. I got it at my big box store. And I just use the thin, cheap kind because obviously this is just all mixed media stuff. We're just having fun. When I go to pick colors for my mixed media tags, I don't usually um, pick a color that matches because I want these to look um, kind of just crazy and fun. Um, it just kind of maybe like a crazy quilt, you know, when they would make a, a quilt out of just whatever they had, whatever scraps they had left over, um, they would just make them and it would make a beautiful, warm, cozy quilt. So I'm going to take, and I really think this kind of teal green is pretty and it's going to really stand out against that purple. So I'm going to get it ready if you've never worked with embroidery thread before so there's a lot of different I think there's I want to say there's like five strands on there I always give myself plenty of thread and then actually I just thought of something okay here's what we're gonna do with this it's gonna be fun so I'm kind of just Pull it apart. It cannot up. I bet there's a better way to do this, friends. But since I am not typically a sewer, um, I don't know what that is. So, all right. Normally, I would not um, go down to one. But I'm going to make this, like, messy nest of thread. And then we're going to put it on there. It's going to be so cute. This was inspired by an artist that I just absolutely love. Her name is Claudette. She is, and it's Claudette. I think I, I think how you pronounce it is Hasperger, but I'm not sure, and I apologize um, if any of you know her, and I'm saying it wrong. She is an amazing artist, probably one of my favorites. I, I found her on the Get Messy community, and I love her work. So you're going to get all these threads, right? And then I'm going to take them and just kind of make a messy old bunch with them. Isn't that fun? So fun. Oh yeah, I'm gonna love. Okay, I decided on this really fun orange. I don't want all five strands, so I'm gonna take maybe three. And then I save all these extra strands because then you can make a, another messy little bunch. No need to throw anything away. This is why I keep this close by because I put it right in my pin cushion. My mama and my daughter made that pin cushion years ago so my mom always wanted me to be a sewer and she got me a machine and everything and i just never did want to do it but now i do love stitching and so she kind of thinks that's cool okay so you just got it on there i put a knot in the bottom, I miss, you know, I'm, I'm showing this just in case you've never done this before. And if anybody's watching and has never done this before. Okay, so I took this fabric and it was already actually folded in half. I just cut it down to this size. And then I'm going to take my pom-pom. Let's see, I want it this way. I'm just going to go underneath, pull it through till it hits on that knot. Okay, so see, there's that knot. And I'm going to just kind of mess it up. I'm going to put it right on the kind of like the center of this like that and then I'm gonna I'm, I'm underneath now so I'm just gonna go up through a bunch of those strands pull my thread and then just randomly go through the thread ah now it's secure now it won't come off because it's sewed on there and then I'm just gonna keep kind of going through back and forth back and forth
my book again because I want to show you. So, you know, you might look at that and go, well, I don't know, that looks kind of weird maybe, which, you know, you could always add a star or something to it. Oh, okay, friends, wait. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, let's look. If I did that, my kitty's going to come. Hi, Troubles. So if I did this, this, and kind of did the star on there, I could use this more like, this was like a little, um, you know, like a little tab for this one could actually be like, that could actually, with that star on there, that could actually be a part of my page. I kind of like that. And then I could add something else. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so here's what we can do. We could either A, stitch this on, or we can glue it on. And honestly, I think I'm going to glue it on. I don't think I want any stitching on there. So how I'm going to do that is I have one of these um, handy little pop dots. These are also from my scrapbooking days. And I'm going to take a pop dot off. I'm going to put it on this and... These are not very sticky because they are seriously from my scrapbooking days. <laughs> All right. Oh, so cute. I'm so glad I did that. Okay, so see, very random, very nice, but I love that. So obviously with the stapler I have, I cannot get that to stay there. So how I'm going to adhere that is I have these. These are from the Dollar Tree. And they are like a 3D foam, kind of like a foam core, kind of um, two-sided adhesive. And I got these in the plumbing section. They do have a very small plumbing section in Dollar Tree. And I, you get like, I don't know, like 100 or 200 of these. And they're awesome. I'm just going to put one on there. And there goes my kitty again. Truffles. Sorry about that, friends. And then I am going to put that right there. Oh my goodness. I love that. I just think that adds so much because it adds so much dimension. So there we go. All right, let's make another one. I'm going to make one more for fun. Um, let's see. I'm going to make a smaller one, I think, and do like a little tab and use this at the top of a page. So I cut it um, a lot skinnier than most. I am going to fold it so it does make like a tab, right? Um, I think since I've got yellow out already and I've got quite a bit over here, I think I'm going to use the yellow. So remember it was long and skinny. We are going to do that. And I'm just going to go underneath and just make random stitches. And I really like this yellow, so I'm probably going to not do it just a single stitch, but probably a lot of maybe little stitches, kind of random. Just nice and random. I'm gonna stop and tie that into a little knot. Sorry, I hit the camera. Okay, so cute. You could honestly leave that. Like, you don't have to add anything. That would be just as cute in a book. Um, let me show you. I feel like if you have a vid visual, you can kind of see. So let's say that um, we decided to use it as a tag. Um, maybe on that because it makes that yellow pop. You could just use that. See how cute that is? Or like right here. Look how cute that is. You don't. I don't need to put anything else on there. But I kind of want to...
show you how cute just adding rickrack can be. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna actually stitch that on there. I decided to use almost the same color pink. I think it is about, yeah, the same color pink on this. No real reason why, I just thought it was kind of cute. So you could go across with this like this, or you could go up, but I'm gonna go across because I think this is gonna be a tab that goes at the top of a page. <laughs>